Good morning, Vietnam! Hey, this is not a test. This is rock and roll. I wake up every morning in a bed that's too small, drive my daughter to a school that's too expensive, and then I go to work to a job for which I get paid too little. Oh, this is gonna be fun. We can stay up late, swapping manly stories, and in the morning, I'm making waffles. You're waking up with the morning app on 90.5 WASU. Welcome in to the morning app. It's another Friday morning. And uh, we're just trying to get through the rest of this week, this little last part. Friday's always my favorite day. It's <laughs> seemingly it's everyone's favorite day, but for me, it's my favorite day uh, because I know that I won't uh, see the faces of these people to my left uh, for a few days. Aw, uh, Travis, don't guys, you have to be so kind? I know, I know, I'm, I'm kind like that. I, <laughs> it's how I like to roll. Uh, but uh, actually, the only only reason I like coming in here is just to see you. So, oh well, <laughs> just know that the feeling isn't mutual. Isn't mutual. So. <laughs> oh my God, guys! Wow. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Tell me how you really feel, Travis. How? How I like girl. <laughs> I'm excited. It's Friday though, just because. Well, just because it's the weekend, but also because it, there's snow on the top of the mountains here. Okay, yeah. that has nothing to do with Friday, but I was really excited when I realized it was Friday and it snowed. Yeah, speaking of Friday, there's snow all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no correlation. Yeah, but. Yeah, um, I, I find it. I find it ironic that um, we're in the uh, Sun Belt Athletic Conference. Uh, Sun Belt, meaning, you know, I don't know if you know geographically where the Sun Belt is, but it's in like the uh, it's in the lower portion of like Texas and like sweeps across like parts of Arizona. Right. Like, that is the Sun Belt, uh, and we happen to be in a conference where, <laughs> you know, we it, get it's, snow it's, in it, April. It's, it's snowed in April, and uh, yeah, yeah, there so. should be a Rust Belt conference. That's what we are. We're in the Rust Belt. Well, a what? Bible Belt. If there was the a Bible, Bible Belt, if there was a Bible Belt yeah. conference, we would be we would be in the Bible Belt conference. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> if it were up to me, I think we should be the Moon Belt because honestly, I mean, I stay up all hours of the night because uh, I'm I'm just an owl basically. <laughs> I don't know about you guys. <laughs> mm. No, I uh, I tend to pass out pretty early unless yeah. unless I'm all like juiced up for like something that's going on. For instance, last night I fell asleep on my couch at like. Uh, Oh my gosh! Maybe like 9 p.m. Oh, that's so nice. nice. Then, but yeah, I woke up though at I don't know 12:31, yeah. and like having s- fell asleep on the couch, feeling I don't know. Oh, I wait. don't like I don't like that feeling. You didn't wake up at like 12:39 or like 1 oh, I, 1:46, but yeah. it was 12:31. It, it was it was either 12:30 <laughs> or one. Um, but um, okay, I, I just I can't stand that. I'm I'm not a I'm not a nap in the middle of the day kind of guy. Yeah. Usually I can never pull that off. Um, and in, oh, the, in the case in the case of nap. like going to bed early, I, I don't like that either. I'm the annoying type of person. I love the mornings, and I wake up in the mornings with an like enormous amount of energy, and it just absolutely pisses people off. I just never want to leave Wait. the bed ever. Enormous amount of energy. Every single time I see your snap story, it's like, help me get through the day. Well, that's just because my days are terrible, but the mornings <laughs> are great. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, I didn't go to bed till two last night. So. Till two? Yeah, I was I was out. So there's that. But oh, was, out on the town, Brandon too. Yeah, on Thursday. <laughs> Actually, wearing this exact same outfit. So if you saw me last night. Probably gonna recognize me. I don't know if that's something you need to admit. On, uh, on to the be air. fair, I only, I only yeah. wore it for like three hours. Well, hey, at least you're at least you're uh, you're owning it, you know. <laughs> I only wore it for like three hours, so yeah. like technically, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm good. Mm-hmm. Exactly. <laughs> I got like another like, eleven hours out of this one. Yeah. Like, I guess huh. you can recycle it, but you went out in it, you know. It's like, I'm not trying to do laundry that often. Uh, I love lo- doing laundry. I love when do my you? clothes smell nice. Yes. Wow. I actually really I love you're it. You're one of the few people I know that actually n- enjoys I doing laundry. I enjoy the smell. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But actually, like, the physical labor that it takes to yeah. do laundry. I like using fabric softener and all the other scents and then the dryer sheets, and then they just come out smelling like your garden. Yeah, the I, end, the I end result is great, yeah. but <laughs> the actual, you know, physical labor of putting it in a washing machine it's just so inconvenient the having you know. to fold it just it stinks too. that you know we we have a washing machine we have to you know go through the work to actually put it in there oh so man oh i know why can't we just dunk it in like a nice little basin and then you know hang it up <laughs> and i think that'd, that'd be regressing I there's think sarcasm I mean, right here i think washing machines are actually more pr- like more advanced than that honestly uh, uh, yeah i understand i just i hate folding i I don't. I'll, I can't. Fold okay, I, I'll admit. I just hate folding. Clothes. I don't match my socks ever. 
Yeah, well, that's different. I mean, no one's going to see your socks unless you're just like, unless you're a guy who like. Why do you not match your, your socks? Sock. <laughs> it doesn't take that long. I mean, it's just an extra amount of effort. They're that's just not buy necessary. New socks. It yeah, is necessary. It's not it's necessary, really not. Travis. Travis, no okay. one's, no one's going to see your socks. Okay, but these if you want to be out things. in public as a grown-up, you might want to have the same pair of socks. Who's going to see my socks? To be fair, my I dad <sighs> doesn't wear socks, and he's a grown-up. So I there don't you know. go. I, I, just, I just feel like pa- my pairing your socks a bit together doesn't seem like I'm that big of an inconvenience. I'm going <laughs> to call my dad out on air. He said that at his wedding, they had to go get him socks because he didn't bring socks to his wedding. At least he didn't show up in just his underwear or something. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I mean, he had pants socks, and I guess, shirt. I socks guess it could have been so worse. But. Like <laughs> socks are so inconsequential. Like quenchual. Like it does not matter. But uh, go back. Go back they to the, the the topic of being able to handle <laughs> mornings. Um, <laughs> I I don't know about you guys, but I just can't you know do a morning without coffee. And you know how in America we're just like, yeah, I'm just gonna put the beans in the in the in the filter. You know, I don't care how much water I use. I just need the caffeine content. Well, apparently the most healthy people in the world, um, in certain countries, make coffee very fancy. Um, they, <laughs> they drink it. They, they drink it with you know their their pinkies up, Aww. and they say you know we're better than America. <laughs> they say pip pip doodly do. Um, we love our coffee. And what, uh, what they say, Kristen? <laughs> <laughs> what? La- what way do they say that? <laughs> it's from Drake and Josh, guys. Come on. Yeah, I, I, I got the reference, but I'm trying to figure out what country they say that in. Whatever um, country they were I impersonating. Thought was, I thought it was Pip Pip Cheerio. No, that's that's in England. They'll say oh, that. Okay. <laughs> but apparently it's in Sabrina. Norway, they're really serious about their coffee. And uh, in the Scandinavian country... In the capital city of Oslo, I've never actually heard of that country, that city, they use progressive <laughs> brew methods, and they pay close attention to the origin of the beans. And the, the way Norwegians actually like their coffee is from lightly roasted beans. Oh, ho, ho. So if we just paid more attention to our coffee, we would be healthier people, and we made it fancier well, and drunk, you, if we drank you know, it with our pinkies you know up? You know why that... Uh, <laughs> it, it remind me, uh, you said Norway, right? Yeah, Norway. Okay, so... I, I don't know this for a fact, Those but I know I know that most Scandinavian countries are. We were actually talking about this in, uh, in the office the other day. Um, <laughs> I know that most Scandinavian countries are, are welfare countries. Uh huh. They just got too much time on their hands up there. You know, good th- point. They they have too much time to enjoy their coffee and s- instead of going to work, man. No, oh, that, I was actually just got too much time on their hands. Genuinely, I was having this conversation with one of my really good friends last night. He had studied abroad and was talking about how just over in Europe. They just take time so much different, like so much slower. They're in no hurry, and we're always like, you know, go, go, go. We have like where you are. For instance, like I feel like the Mediterranean is is like that, but uh, I don't necessarily. He was in Germany. I don't. eh, Yeah, I mean, Germany is one of those like. I don't know. They would. He said that they would break for like an hour and a half for lunch. Yeah. Well, yeah. Crazy. We get like thirty minutes for lunch. I'm going to Germany. Is it's like if you're (laughs) if you're going, like setting a meeting time in Spain. Like when you say 10 a.m., it could be 10 15. 10 oh, 20, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's know, just a lot more. It's kind of whenever so the brand. Shows what, you're, what you're telling us is that you need to move to Spain. Well, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> I get here right at the buzzer, so I probably, should, uh, I probably should just move to Spain. I wouldn't have to worry about it. You would fit in culturally. I would be I here think. 15 you minutes. Would. I would be here 15 minutes early. In yeah, well, so apparently the, the United Nations um, ranked these countries with uh, saying that these, the healthiest people in the world live in these countries. Um, I didn't expect this. Australia, um, they're full of self-possessed coffee snobs, apparently. Everyone, <laughs> everyone knows, everyone knows, like, that one guy that's like, oh, no, I only drink uh, coffee from this specific country. Don't, uh, yeah. don't take this offensively, but that's you. <laughs> Hey, I'm the, I uh, used to be I like only that. drink my <laughs> Arabian coffee. You know. You're very specific about your drip coffee. Well, that's like if we go uh, to a coffee shop around here, he like looks at all five drip coffee options and like, like weighs seriously? them each and like will rank them. Wait, James, <laughs> like, do you have do you have the reviews on this? Where did this come from? <laughs> James, are you serious about that? Because literally, when I go to like Espresso News, I just when I waited, I tables, go like, hey, oh, I just want like Americano or something. Yeah, like yeah. That. I don't I don't go like, oh, what up? Is that Colombian over there? I don't know. Yeah. Uh, is that is that Arabian? Like, what what is that? What is that? My uh, the thing I probably hated worse when I waited tables was just people uh, asking me like, uh, you know, where is this from? Or like, yeah, that's something that's like that. I'm just mm-hmm. like, I don't know. In, in regards to coffee, it's like there's caffeine in it. It doesn't <laughs> taste that bad. 
<laughs> you know, it's, it's just when you've had like the best, then everything else is just really bad. <laughs> and apparently, like in Australia, they they apparently know what's best, and they're too too good for Starbucks. Apparently, you know what? Some of the best coffee I've ever had was legitimately the Australia. best coffee. No, is the is the this is going to sound gross, and you guys are going to judge me. I just know it. We were road tripping to Colorado. We stopped somewhere, I think, in Kansas. Honestly, yeah, I think it was Kansas at this gas station. I, I was going to say at a truck stop. Are you yeah, serious? Yeah, the it was the most best coffee. State. Best coffee ever. Do you remember just that? Just a random gas station in Kansas. Christine? Do you remember that? When we all got coffee? Yeah, that, that coffee was, was not good. Uh, the best. The absolute best coffee See, I've ever had. Yeah. I'm going to mm. trust a coffee snob over here. Okay, to be fair, I drink coffee maybe once a month. So. I think under the particular circumstance, you drank that. Um, yeah, uh, like in point. that in that moment, you know, you'd been driving for several hours. That coffee <laughs> tasted uh, pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> think, James? Might have been the circumstances, mm-hmm. honestly. Yeah. But um, we've gotten in under a minute. American Woman, guess who? On this wonderful Friday morning on 90.5 WACU, the app. Morning talk show, the morning app on 90.5 WASU. It is 8.15 on this beautiful, very cold Friday morning. <laughs> it's 
It's going to get beautiful at some point. Yeah. <laughs> this weekend, I hear, is going to be great. The you know, fact that it's just Friday is beautiful in yeah. itself. Yeah. I just choose to believe it's beautiful. <laughs> it's a good way to look at life, honestly. <laughs> Um, well, if your hands are cold and if you're a guy, good news for you. Um, no shame. You can go ahead and hold your hands, uh, hold the hands of your guy friends. It's totally fine. <laughs> and uh, Kristen, Kristen will elaborate on why that's totally okay. <laughs> yeah. So uh, I know we were just talking about, you know, the Netherlands and Norway and all those countries with their coffee, but. <laughs> What's so funny, Brandon? We weren't talking about Netherlands. <laughs> okay, go ahead. <laughs> we talked about Norway. No no they way. both we were start with about <laughs> General, same general area. They both start with an N. It's fine. <laughs> okay. Close enough. Anyway. Uh, yeah. We're so on. a couple days ago, actually, um, this is really sad. The this couple was just walking home from a party late at night, uh, man and man holding hands, and they got attacked by six teenage boys. Six. Six. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So now in protest to this, this is, you know, actually pretty awesome. A bunch of straight men are just going around holding hands with everybody. So you can't, you can't tell. You can't tell. And um, I don't know. I think this is sad that this is still a thing that happens. Honestly. I think as far as like what they're doing though in protest of it is. Really cool, right? Pretty hilarious actually. <laughs> you know, uh, you know I, yeah. I mean, it's, uh, it's definitely sad. I, I don't really know anything about, um, you know, the, I guess, the political climate of, you, you said there's the Netherlands, right? Yep. Well, um, not, yeah, I don't really know exactly kind of how. If I would have had to have guessed, I would have thought that <laughs> they would have been, um, I guess, one of the more liberal Actually, nations in that part of the uh, world. They're not, they're not very progressive when it comes to uh, that, that particular kind of issue. Those, well, those type of issues. I know. Uh, I know. Racism is still a huge thing in the Netherlands too. Really? Yeah. Well, they they've started this hashtag, um, all men all men hand in hand. So you can uh, look that up on Twitter and Instagram, and you can find some that's stuff just about a, it. That's just a good story. Like the fact that. Mm -hmm. I think it's. I think it's beautiful. The fact that people, I mean, can can use that br that protest to, uh, you know. Yeah. Bring bring light to a cause because. That that's a really that's a really important thing. Like the fact that people just because they're being who they are are being attacked for it by and maliciously attacked by a group of people, not just like one person was just like random like this is like a premeditated like six groups of six people like six decided groups, to God. sorry. Yeah, six, six people, people. <laughs> decided to attack this one couple. Like that that's pretty bad. Yeah. I I I don't know, I, I feel like um I feel like this kind of situation uh, definitely is um, it's 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 sad. Really, I I think more than more than just because um, you know it was a gay couple. It's just that you know the the larger you know like your mankind kind of thing. Like yeah, you know they're yeah. they're coming home. It's late. They're just you know, doing their what, thing. What are you doing? Like yeah. if, if you're if you're that if you're that group of six people, mm -hmm. like. Are, are you not are you not busy enough to have like something going on yeah. to like not harass people, let alone like attack them? Yeah, you know. I mean, also teenagers. That means that right. like as young ad young adults, they have they're like Im they have the confidence to just go do that. Or, kind of or stuff. the impression that they should that that's how they should handle a situation. Like I just I don't know. That, that I was I was thinking to myself though. I was like, you know, if something like this happened in America, would we react the same way? Would we start a protest See, similar to this? Would. I I honestly I, I don't know. I feel like we would start a you know a big hashtag and everyone would post like, you know, blah 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 and my thoughts and whatever. But I don't know if we would act out like this. Like I think this is really cool and I think that they're. You know, obviously not the the situation is cool, but the way that they're reacting is a very um, neat way to handle a yeah unique. Bad situation. I think it's unique. Yeah, yeah, you know, to be completely honest, I didn't know that it was uncommon for straight guys to hold hands anyway. I do it all the time. <laughs> I know. Uh, I'm very secure in my masculinity. You know, I'm just like I have a really good friend named Matt, and you know, we just have that type of relationship. <laughs> they and do. That's so true. Wait, and now I just have a reason to do that. Now, now I'm like now people are like. Oh, you're weird. Oh no, no, I'm doing no. this in protest Hashtag now. Man, it's, man the protest. Yeah. <laughs> it's the protest. It's the protest. It's not. Yeah. 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 No. Wink, I, I, wink. It's not it's that the I protest. love Matt. 
It's so true, though. Like, Matt walks into the station, and they will, like, you would think it's a movie. They run in slow motion towards each other and just, like, hug, and they just hug it out for, like, five minutes. And you're like, can we can we go now? They're like, no. Yeah. No, man. I, I think y'all should clarify which Matt, because there's actually quite a few We Matt's. have several Matt's. Yeah. Oh, Matt Crombach, the host of The uh, Weekend. Yeah. Um, okay. I, I don't want to disparage any mm-hmm. other Matt's. But, uh, yeah, it's, but also, he's like, he's like, it's like a bromance. Like, if you ever heard of what. Matt Neverett. Is a is a very similar person in that in that aspect. He uh he actually was trying to hold my hand last night, and I was like, <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm just out here trying to you know, like chill, watch this like dance probably, on the dance floor. He probably floor. already knew about what happened That's in the Netherlands. He he he's he already knew. He's really, yeah, he's really plugged in. <laughs> Honestly, me and my girlfriends do this all the time. I don't know if it's like different for guys. I don't it's think, different. I think. Yeah, it is. Which it is, is kind of strange, mm-hmm. but. Mm, but whatever. like, if we're if we're just running around town, you know, one night we're just hanging out. But like, also there's we'll there's odd exceptions to that. For instance, like in in athletics, you know, oftentimes like uh, what would otherwise be considered like inappropriate just isn't inappropriate. So I think I think it's really kind of odd, like how we <laughs> how we treat those situations. Yeah, uh, that's sometimes. Fair. But uh, have you ever heard of the term bromance? Have you ever used? Oh that? no, I mean I I feel like I have. I have been in one of those uh, a few, you know, in my lifetime. Genuinely but. feel like Brandon and Travis have a bromance. I think it's something special. They got lunch together we, yesterday. We get lunch together very often. Yeah, <laughs> we, we have a lot of conversations. Mm-hmm. Who who buys who dinner? I think me and Brandon actually share a lot in common. So. Yeah, we do. We share. We share. We, we 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 trade. We trade. Okay. Yeah, yeah. We're 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 equal opportunity in that way. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I, I hate <laughs> being you know, the dominant force in a, in uh-huh. a yeah, yeah. friendship. Yeah, you've got to keep it equal. I think it should yeah. be whoever asks the other person to eat. You know, mm-hmm. say if you ask him to go eat at uh, well, it Tiffany's. Should have been me yesterday. At Tiffany's. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Tiffany's. So, um, am I having breakfast there? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, let's have breakfast. Uh, it, so like James, when you're when you're texting your 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 bromance, um, <laughs> wh- what uh, what kind of words do you use oftentimes in text messages that might not be, I guess, um, maybe a part of the the regular English dictionary, or uh, you just feel like maybe shouldn't be. Um, used outside of like text messaging. For instance, for me, you know, like I t- I tend to make up words on occasion or right. intentionally misspell things just you know for gags or mm-hmm. whatever. Um, but they um have done their annual adding uh words to uh the um uh, the Webster's Dictionary, and I just wanted to to read a few of th- some some of these uh and some of these are um like phrases or you know uh. Uh, for instance, man bun got added that to the got official added? dictionary. Nice. Are you serious? Nice. Yeah, I'm, I'm serious. Also, uh, you know, this one actually surprises me. You would have thought that this one would have been added a long time ago. Um, but uh, mic drop. Oh, mic drop. How yeah. is, mic but how drop. is that added to the dictionary? Because I don't even think that's Sext. what, that's like not one word. Sext got added. Yeah. Makes and sense. And this is, this is the online, this is the online dictionary. So you can, you know, it's, uh, you can search Okay. Um, you know, like phrases as and well. And they went really official with it, right? Like the adjective for sex is sexting. And yeah. They yeah, yeah, yeah. The entire yeah. definition. It's a complete mm-hmm. word now. Yeah. That's hilarious. It yeah. Ma- it makes me wonder how the they actually come about this. Like, uh, is there a group of people I, that yeah, are I that think like older is. people? They're like, hmm, what are the kids saying nowadays? Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, they're what do they do? They're s- they're sexting all the time. They're <laughs> horrible. They, yeah. they, uh, they they wear man buns all the time. <laughs> uh, yeah. I I think. <laughs> yeah, you, you make a you make a funny point, but um, it, it is important though for us to continually you know like update this kind of thing. Particularly, um, and if if you look up the statistics, the uh, the stats on um, the amount of words that had been added to the dictionary uh, since the explosion of technology. Yeah. So there was more words added um, over. Gosh, it was it was it was only a period of time of like five or ten years, uh, s- something to that. Um, to that effect, um, once the the tech boom hit, just simply because we had to name so many different things, there was more words added than had previously, like existed in the English language. Are you serious? Mm-hmm. What? Like words just specifically associated, you know, around that industry we, and, and and like offshoots of that. See, people think we're 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 dumber. We might be smarter for inventing 
these crazy. I words. think this is crazy though. Like, is it smart to add slang into the dictionary? What's like, we're not going to use because we're not going to use it five years from now. No one's going to say it's lit anymore. What's Why would you throw lit? it in the dictionary? I mean, nothing's wrong with lit. But gonna are you going to use it? You're going to use it. Of course, I'm going to use lit. I'm probably going to say it on. A, I'm probably going to say it on the radio at some point. Oh my god. I'm going to be like, dude, that party was lit last night. But like, it's just slang. It's going to die. Why add it to the dictionary? Man buns. Man well, buns will exist the, for the maybe beauty, a year later. The beauty of. Uh, particularly, you know, an, an online you know forum. It's not really that hard to probably take that out of your database if you don't feel like it's no if if it's culturally not like See, you know a part of I guess what is usually said. Uh, as a history minor, Travis, I don't know if you look at it this way, but we're preserving the history of our English language by adding these words to the dictionary. Why would we take them out? The kids who grow up <laughs> five mm-hmm. years from now mm-hmm. need to know that some parties were lit. And okay. that some of functions were lit. <laughs> Honestly, and if, they, if they don't use that, then that's their that's their fault. That's their loss. It's lit. <laughs> yeah. They'll maybe remember one word. That's that's our one legacy as millennials. Uh, that's basically all we've contributed in society. <laughs> it's lit. I, and, and and that word millennials, I, I find to be an interesting uh, term as well because um, are are we like are we millennials? Would, okay, would so like apparently yeah. apparently we are. No, no, I, we're next gen. Okay, listen, this, to this is... Ex- according ex- to Professor Dr. Acock, we're yes, next gen. but according to Dr. Spicelin, our other professor, Dr. we're Spicelin. millennials. I, I trust I Dr. Acock's opinion when it comes to that more than... More than I, okay, genuinely... Not to call Dr. Spicelin out, but... In my opinion, so. I consider millennials to be anyone born 2000 and up. Because that's the turn, you know? That's the turn of the... 2000 and up? Yeah. No, no, millennials is like 89. Mm. See, we don't yeah, know. I know. I know, but we can we can crack back into this uh, when we come back from break. Uh, but right now, uh, living on a prayer. Bon Jovi is on the morning app.
And now back to your favorite morning talk show, The Morning App on 90.5 WASU. 8.34 on this lovely Friday morning, and I'm so excited that it's Friday. I'm excited that it's Friday. I'm excited that it's snowing. Are you I'm excited? excited. I'm, ex- I'm just all You're around excited. excited. That it's April. I'm excited that it, I actually am excited that it's April. April flowers. We'll give it away. <laughs> I just I'm excited about life, Brandon. Don't don't heart rain on my parade. Thank you very much. Speaking of rain, how's the weather looking for today? Yeah, so uh, we're not going to have any rain, uh, and I think more or less the snow is done. Unless you live at let's say 5,500 feet. Um, I do not think that you're going to see any snow the rest of the day. This is your weather forecast brought to you by RainsWeather.com. Today, Friday, high of 43, low of 30 with sunny skies later in the day. And then, let me tell you guys, the next four days, we're talking four golf ball days. No, really? Four golf ball days. <laughs> are you serious? Oh, yeah. We're going to have to hit the links. Yeah, oh, we are. We are. We're talking hit upper, the links. upper 60s, maybe even flirting with lower 70s. We've already discussed what links are, by the way. I do not intend to uh, entertain that. We explain again. it. We did. We, did went we? Into, we went in great detail uh, on a yes, show we did. a while back. So, For real? Uh, but was anyway, I listening to the golf time. thing? Yeah. We're moving on. Oh. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, that is your weather forecast brought to you by RaysWeather.com. Sometimes I just Weather don't listen well, when uh, you guys talk. Have. I was going to say one more thing. To strengthen our bromance, I think yep. we should go play golf. Yeah. We should. I don't we have sh- my clubs, but I, I'll go find them. I don't either. Mine are at home. And also mine are a real piece of crap. But uh, yeah. Mine are too. How about we go to the driving range? Yeah, that? yeah. Because really that's, that's really more what I'm about. I like just, you know, hitting balls as far as I can and not having to, like, go walk and chase them yeah, down. I yeah. I'm, I'm really more about that. Don't keep it on the fairway. But, yeah. 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 But, uh, Brandon, uh, Easter is, uh, is coming up. Easter break. Are you, uh, you going home for that? You got no, plans? absolutely. Ooh, okay. Well, no, I, I am. <laughs> Trouble in the home front. <laughs> I am, but not going home. It's really, really strange. So I, I don't know. It's just I'm going. So I'm I'm staying here for for Easter itself, and then I'm and then I'm going home for like two days to do uh, to do one of the assignments for uh, for Doctor Spicelin. But basically, what what this article is saying is. You can, the Easter Bunny is telling you what to, what to eat. The Easter Bunny is a, is really a thing all of a sudden. I don't know, do you guys still believe in the Easter Bunny? Of course. Um, <laughs> what do you mean? What are you talking about? My favorite thing about Easter is honestly the candy. The, the excuse to eat uh, chocolate all the time. And <laughs> I mean, that's pretty much every holiday. But yeah, apparently, apparently eating, the way you eat your Easter Bunny says a lot about you. Like, do you do you guys eat it? Do you eat the head straight off, like like an evil monster, or do you like gently nibble it away? Uh, like, how do you eat your Easter Bunny? You gotta start at the ears. I yeah, I think I start with the ears. Mm-hmm. But you were talking about um, like finding the the chocolate itself. I think the the game changer for me for Easter was when I realized that some people put $1 bills in those eggs. Oh, yes. yeah. That's it. And then mm-hmm. I started, mm-hmm. um, and then I started, like, going about, um, <laughs> you know, trying to find them just for the money. <gasps> oh. Yeah, but... As uh, a grown man, like, I still want to go do that, so... So, in case we, we haven't mentioned, it's about eating the chocolate of the Easter Bunny, and there's a study that talks about how people eat the Easter Bunny, and... They say 59% of people just dive right in, ears first, just go for it. And then there's 4% that go feet or tail first. Are, yeah, you, part of, are you part of that 4%? Honestly? I feel like you'd be that type of person, Brandon. I think yeah. I think you're I'm like, part of the 4%. I hate the ears. I think you that'd be what? something that you could say like on a first date. You're like, hey, I'm part of the 4%. I eat the <laughs> feet first. You know what? Um, what I prefer, though? Is the hollow bunnies? I don't like the solid chocolate uh, bunnies. Yeah, that's yeah. fine. The ones that are hollow understand. are better. Honestly, that made me when I was a kid, and my parents gave me the hollow bunnies. It's so <laughs> deceiving. I like got so upset. I was like, "Wow, this is all chocolate!" And then I would eat the the at least the top, and then it look was on like the inside. It's chocolate. just completely empty. Yeah. It's just a- nothing. I'm like, "Why would you lie to me, mom?" <laughs> yeah, as a as a young person, that would have that made me upset. However, uh, like now. Not that I'm not young, but you know what I mean. And um, 
I, I, I realized that, you know what? Yeah, you didn't need all that chocolate. This is actually <laughs> the amount of chocolate that you actually wanted to have because I now you don't feel super terribly right. gross after eating that. I think so. it tastes better. I do too. I d- yeah. Right? Like I, actually, it's just I actually think it does. But yeah. oh, you're the 59% that eats the ears first. Of course. It also has some kind of chalky substance on it sometimes. Yeah. You don't yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. yeah, I don't I don't know I exactly. I think it's like an addicting thing. I can't I can't put my finger on exactly what that is, but do you guys uh, I see what you did there. Do you <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the real question is, do you nibble around the corners or do you just No, it? you just eat it. Cuz I know people who just nibble around the corners and apparently that's like a that's like a huge thing. That's a huge debate. Yeah. You know, if you just go ahead and just, you know, dive into the bunny, destroy the bunny, kill the bunny, and then just, you know, eat it. Or if you're like, I'm going to take one bite here, and then I, one bite on this one, like so it's all yeah. symmetrical. I definitely do that with Kit Kats. And this really makes a lot of people mad is because I'll take the edges of my Kit Kat off first, like the chocolate edges. Oh, yeah, edges, you show me this. And then I'll peel each, like, wafer layer and eat that. Now, and it really just, oh, it, it irks people, man. I don't know why. Now, but they my don't like problem how I eat my with your Kit Kat eating is that you don't break the Kit Kat. No, you don't break the Kit Kat. My problem is, like, why it's are you just such a horrible person? Why don't you just eat the Kit Kats the way you're supposed to eat Kit Kats? Because I want to enjoy wait, 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 wait. every little piece of Hold it. Hold on. It says, the commercial literally says, give me a break and they break the Kit Kat. I, like they're telling you how to the eat campaign. the Kit Kat. Oh, I don't like anyone telling me what to do, Brandon. At least you're not <laughs> d- just biting straight into where you're supposed to break mm-hmm. the Kit Kat. I've seen that. Oh, and honestly, yeah. that I've never been more sad in my life when I... Uh, uh, well, actually, uh, there's this one picture that I saw where someone cut out a part of a pie and instead of, you know, just cutting the edge of the pie, they cut out a triangle in the middle of the pie. Like, who does that? No. <laughs> Really? Yeah, How no. do you even get to that? I don't know. <laughs> it, it, that seems like a lot of work. I guess they didn't like the those crust. People, those people are yeah. terrible. It, and those the same lines with uh, we were talking about like candy, Kit Kats, whatnot. Um, I think Twix. Do you guys like the Twix I absolutely. campaign? I love Twix. The le- but no, no, the no, left the, and the, right the, is hilarious. The, the, the campaign, like the left and right Twix campaign. No, Come that's on. weird. The commercial, the commercial where, they're, where they say, do you think they're only working because they think we're working? And then the guys start laughing. <laughs> They're like, oh, oh. and then the other guys are like, yeah, we got them. We're not working. <laughs> yeah. I, That's the best one. <laughs> That's the I don't best know. One. I, I, if I don't really find that a uh, whole, like, campaign. It, it was funny, I guess. Eh. They've, been, they've been doing it now for a while. It's cascading. Like, long time. Years. Isn't it yeah. cascading versus, uh, what? what is the other one? Just, like, po- dipped? I think it's cascading versus dipped. Oh, you mean the chocolate. Yeah, no, yeah. no. Like, I don't yeah, think like, there's I, an actual I difference. I don't. No. Between them, I don't know, man. Pretty sure there is. Some people, pretty some sure people there are all about that. But. I'm not. You know what I'm also not about though, the when they when they mix it up with all those crazy different flavors for no reason. Yeah. Like, do you know how many flavors there are of everything yeah. now? Also, it's well, for variety. As someone who likes regular blueberry and strawberry unfrosted pop tarts, which pop- by the way. That's the one thing we disagree on, oh, like I wholeheartedly. Yeah. Like yeah. that is disgusting. Travis. Well, I, yeah, I like to put mine in the in the toaster. I, I'm sorry, but I liked I liked Pop Tarts a lot more when I was younger, and I think your taste tends to change when you uh, when your age changes. But I think also other things change as well. Apparently, when uh, um, well, there's a study done in London, um, the School of Economics, that says age is directly related to how um, happy we are. And I get this, that. Uh, even, they've even figured out that the age um, when we reach peak happiness in life, apparently... What is that know, age? Um, that age is between... So researchers surveyed 23,000 Germans. That's <laughs> I don't know oh, how... The fact that it's Germans just... That <laughs> sample <laughs> size changes. seems almost too big. But anyway. Yeah, that does seem too big. Um, from the 23,000 people between ages 17 and 85... They found that happiness um, follows a U-shaped pattern between the ages of 20 and 70. And our levels of joy peak uh, when we're 23 and 69. So I've got one more year until I'm basically set. Until and then it just all it's all wow. downhill from there apparently. Well, no, then you go back up at sixty three if you make it there. Sixty nine. <laughs> so oh, I I'm sorry. I okay. So your your lowest point then is like somewhere in your late forties. Yeah, I mean yeah. I, that wouldn't surprise me. Midlife crisis. Hmm. I guess so. I guess. Well, I you are. I guess at that point you were firmly established in your career, whatever hopefully. it is that you choose to do. Hopefully, um, but you're still assuming you're retiring at retirement age uh like 62 
yeah, you're, you're still a decent ways away from that. So I can I can see where that's I can see where that's the case. Um, I'm glad that folks who are you know, for instance, like approaching my uh, dad's age. My dad's uh, 60 will be 62. Um, I'm glad he's still like on on the rise there as well. And my mom, same deal. She's in her she's in her 50s, but. Uh, yeah, he's 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 glad to he's know that on the rise. Still, you know, more, he just, he j- honestly, if he gets any more happy though, right, uh, than he is right now, I don't know what I'm gonna have to. Uh, we're gonna have to do something because he just retired. Um, so, uh, so is he playing a lot of golf? If if he, um, well, his uh, his his back doesn't really oh. allow for that much anymore. Uh, a lot of a lot of poking around the house, but he loves it. <laughs> so if he gets any more uh, satisfied, I just don't know what we're gonna do. But. Yeah, so that makes you wonder what's happening between 23 and 69. And that, that kind of makes time. our yeah, yeah that, that kind of makes our time. satisfaction with life uh, bottom I out. I think it's because like you're getting out of school, <laughs> you're getting into your job, and then once you're in your job, I think you're more happier than when you retire. No, see what I think it is. I think it has the correlation to do with children. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are the years that your kids are you know in your life and involved. And man, kids stress you out. They if take I a lot of money. Kid, they just know. come over and eat your food. Yeah. I mean. Yeah. That's going to be the most happiest, Kristen, right? Kristen, right. all I'm saying is that <laughs> if, if I somehow get a kid before, I guess, July. You make it sound like it's something that's going to come in Ama- uh, like in Ama- uh, by Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> if I somehow get a kid. If my child well, arrives via Prime in two I'm days. Just saying, yeah. I'm just saying there's there's no prospects out there. Uh, there's nothing. So if I end up having a kid by, by July 4th, then, then we're going to have some serious issues. And I'm not going to be very happy. <laughs> but yeah, I can here see where you wouldn't on be. Classic Rock Friday, it's the GOAT, Bruce Springsteen with Dancing in the Dark.
And now back to your favorite morning talk show, The Morning App on 90.5 WASU. 8.50 on this BEA beautiful Friday morning. And let me tell you what, we're getting to my favorite segment, the relationship segment of this show. And it's, it's pretty great because, you know, I'm looking for a relationship out there, but not really. I'm just kind of doing my thing as a single guy. And apparently you have the best tactics to use as a single guy, Kristen. I do because, you know what, every time we go through this segment, you and Josh always, you know, give me crap because you're like, you're not giving us any tips, you know. Sometimes we'll talk about, you know, tips if you're, you're in not. a relationship and stuff like that. But um, but this is today's your day, Brandon. You're Today's actually gonna lay it on me. I'm gonna, um, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna lay it all out for you. But right. <coughs> do you have, do you have a dating app? Of course. You do. Which one? Apparently, there's many. Do I have to uh, name them all? No, I'm just kidding. Name I, them I have all. Tinder, but all seven. <laughs> <laughs> I have I Tinder. Have. I don't, I don't take it that seriously, but yes, I have Tinder. All right. Well, uh, how about how about uh, using full body pics? Apparently, girls would rather see like full body pics than just you know selfies and stuff like that. I uh I have a couple of those. Yeah. I think I think my pics are attractive even though they're from like sophomore year. Oh yeah. But I haven't, update that. I haven't really changed much, so I I think I'll be okay. That makes a lot of sense to me though. I mean, I think th- you know, they need to know what to expect when they're meeting you. You don't want to surprise question. them. You I've know. definitely been uh uh bamboozled before. Mm. You know, what you if know? the guy what if the guy has three arms? You you, you got to know that before well, you meet up with mm-hmm. him. Well, me mm-hmm. me and Matt never have talked about this. Girls like to like to use those angles to make themselves look more attractive. Yeah, I got about one angle mm-hmm. that I can use. <laughs> they they do that and then you actually meet them and you're like, I don't know. <laughs> that's like a that's like a little bit of a step down. But then they I mean some people end up being like super nice and then some people end up being well, oftentimes, the, the oftentimes that particular angle isn't even their best angle. They, oh, that's <laughs> they, don't, know. <laughs> they don't know what angle um, it is. They're just yeah. digging a hole at that you point. Know, so Maybe um, we'll do that in the next segment, or the next time we do this relationship segment. You can people, tell us the best angles for People girls. would be better off if they you know, didn't worry about that as much, I feel I like. I know, right? That's also, also, just as a side note, and I'll let you get back to going down that <laughs> list, but um, can, can we stop the, can we stop the, the fake posing for like, laughing I, I you can tell Wait. you can tell when like you just you know it's is like come th- on is that, a, is, is, that it? is that a direct shot at me greg Kerlarko, and matt neverett because we did that one time and asked you no to no because that was funny because you i feel like that was like a play on oh that, oh so see it's okay if you guys do it <laughs> no, I'm saying that like if 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 you're out there, you know who you are. You I know do who it. you are. I do it. Are you if, if you're out there and you, and you do that like once every time you go out, I I'm just saying. I I just feel like it's noticeable if it bothers you that much. It's got to be genuine. I don't know. I'm just I I question how much fun you actually had at <laughs> said event. Yeah, seriously. Like I feel like I don't know. You, it's nice to have. The, a reason to post something, but I feel like some people just look for reasons to, and they and, and they see a wall. Like, uh, I don't understand. Like, girls really, they're just like, oh, this is a cute wall. Take me, a, like, take a picture of me laughing, in front uh, of this or wall. just like, I, I really like this shirt I'm wearing. So also, the, the the what they consider to be a, a nice wall is interesting sometimes too. The uh, <laughs> the uh, the frat house wall that uh, that has nice. uh, uh-huh. plastered over where like. Uh, they put a hole in the wall isn't the nice wall to <laughs> fake laugh in front of. <laughs> we had this one friend, actually. We were going on a sunrise hike, and he didn't wake up in time, so he missed the hike. And he was like, man, I really wanted that Instagram photo. I was like, are you serious? He didn't even are care about the hike. Me? To be fair, mm-hmm. Instagram is one of those things where you just have to capture Instagram-worthy moments. Oh, like yesterday, I, I had to post an Instagram picture of my new Jordans. You got to strike while the uh, I had while to. the iron's hot. I had to. <laughs> do you um, on your dating app though? Do you know which traits to highlight and which traits to not highlight? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so. I think I have a good grasp. How does that How does that work? I mean, are you saying like some, can you like tag like specific like? It depends on Traits. some apps you can. Yeah, so so a lot of guys will will be like, "Oh, I'm super fit. I'm super healthy. I'm a gym. I go to the gym all I the time." I just say I like sports. Seventeen percent of girls like that. 
the majority of them aren't looking for somebody that hits up the gym all the time really which funny. is you know yeah actually yes no Thank seriously you. if you it says right here you know if you use the word laugh or honest in your profile then you're more likely to um get swipes i guess you know i think to be completely honest the best way is to just delete your tinder account right in front of them i mean that's what i did <laughs> <laughs> when, uh, when I when I when I knew the girl was the right girl, that's what I did. Um, oh no, that's different. That's if you actually get somebody. <laughs> Brandon's like, I'm at the first tier. Okay, we're working our yeah. way up. <laughs> and, and, and honestly, I don't know if I want to if I want to go past this first tier. Like I'm talking to like you could multiple say, people. I don't know if I want to go past this first tier. You also have to be careful about the time that you send the message. If it's after like 9:45 p.m., you're reaching 10 p.m., yeah. 11 p.m., it's becoming a booty call. You got to back it up. Uh, well, like, <laughs> phrasing. like, okay, like yesterday I went out, I went out, I like, I like went out to the bars and it was like 2 a.m. And I got back to my place and I was like, wow, I'm really not tired to go, like, you know, go to sleep or really do anything. And so I, you know, I messaged a couple of people just like randomly at like 2 a.m. Yeah, don't do that. Something, something about, you know, when we were <laughs> well, talking about generations earlier, mm -hmm. um, something I think our generation will never understand is just genuine romance. Like, I feel like now it's just like. Hey, where did you guys meet? Uh, um, I'm glad I'm glad you bring that up, James, because I, I think you're full of it. Uh, <laughs> and, I think, and I think anyone that shares that opinion is full of it. Um, True. I just I refuse to to believe that. I just think that you know life is different now, and uh, also the the version of quote unquote romance that uh, is portrayed in, for instance, Disney. Or you other know, romantic novels. Nicholas Frankly, it's Spark. pretty sexist. No, Disney is so real. It, I so I feel like right. oftentimes, if, no. I don't know. I, I do not feel that there is, it, it, uh, in many of those cases, actual like a quality uh, there. So it, it's it's very it's the, it's always a story of it's very traditional. Um, you know, as far as like the the male's role, that kind of thing. I mean, I've had people like comment and say that you know honestly like watching this now like this actually gave me like a misrepresentation growing up of actually like what this relationship should be uh if you uh particularly with beauty and the beast like if you yes. watch like the um or the, snow white. The old the old versions of beauty and the beast or snow white um i i, I think that you can definitely read into some of that like snow white i'm not gonna find a relationship that way <laughs> Beauty and the Beast. I'm not gonna find a relationship that well, way. Brandon. Like that guy basically forced. In Beauty and the Beast, he forced her. He kidnapped her. <laughs> okay, but Disney never no said this is the book to live by. Here you go. No, but that what? is. But that is. You know, if, if what you perceive. If, I guess if that is the, you know, the the story, and the the plot line that you're that you're watching over and over and over and over and over again. Yeah. I just don't feel like that necessarily portrays. You know what what we should necessarily be striving for in that regard. Honestly, so. I never watched those like romantic comedies or those love stories. I never watched those as a kid. I was just always watching Cartoon Network. <laughs> and well, I, I have I think I have a good idea of what uh romance is like. Well, no, I was going to say that that Tinder, I think especially like people get upset that if you meet on Tinder, how am I going to meet somebody to be fair? Like I'm always in my major classes and our major our major is very small. How am I going how am I going to meet somebody Besides Tinder, I feel like Tinder it's is like really you, you <laughs> already hit up everyone in our major. <laughs> yeah, like, no, I mean, I, and there's some great people on a major, but that doesn't that doesn't mean I'm gonna like fall in love with those Brandon's people. Talking in my about major. how small the talent pool is. You know what you can do? Friends of friends. Um, you meet people. The well, other Kristen, friend I'm ready. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> your major, your well, uh, maybe not your work, but you told me you were gonna hook up with your friends, Kristen. You still haven't <laughs> still haven't done it. Just saying. <laughs> I'm one of the nicest guys getting, ever. You it's know, getting heated. Josh, Josh is very upset by this. Josh is probably the nicest person I've ever met, and you still won't hook up Josh with your friends. <laughs> so just saying. <laughs> oh man, I, I see Josh's frustration now. Yeah. Well, we'll uh, we'll figure out Brandon's uh, relationship issues come Monday morning on the morning app. But that does it for today's show. Thanks for listening. From Kristen, James, Brandon, and Travis. Thanks for listening, and we'll be back on the air this coming Monday.